food makes me laugh because the irony of it is like if that chick had given me a job I would have worked my heart off I would have been of value to that company and I probably would still be in South Africa because I'm loyal to our dad bro whereas you got <laughs> Ari and I don't know Yvette I think is I'm not so Yvette uh, that Z chick has since moved on as well so it's like um, yeah you're putting your eggs in a basket that's made of um, shit and it's going to break right. so like enjoy Yeah, I don't know. I think I, I sort of there are good people as well, all of them. But I think I sort of misjudged them. No, it's the same like well. I'm saying. Massimo's a good person, but we can um, start that there's positive characteristics and negative characteristics of people. But in terms of um, the relationship we have with these people, the benefit that we have from continued investment in them being our friends is like um, parasitic or or negative or detrimental to us it's not good to keep fostering and putting in infinite amounts of resources into these people to be our friends there are other people that or or we could put it to looking for other friends that can benefit us because at the end of the day like i need i need someone that in my life can help me in some way in shape or form if you're only taking from my cup is uh, it's jack room Like even if you think about our relationship, one of the, the cornerstones or founding principles is uh, we can uh, chat a shit together or something. You know, you have yeah, like emotional and mental support. We have um, we have academic support for each other. You know, we've even financially support whatever. There's so many things, right? Is uh, mutually beneficial, right? There's no parasitic here. Whereas, I sometimes with some relationships, I you get nothing out of them, bro. Uh, no, you quite right. That metaphor of the cup is a good one because you quite right. Like some will drink your cup till it's empty, brother. <laughs> they didn't give up. You know what's that thing with a straw where you there. where you where you like try to suck on the straw, but nothing's coming out. We like <laughs> and nothing's there, and they're still sucking, and you're like, "Right, the empty. My cup is just the empty. Stop it! Stop it!" <laughs> There's nothing. It's gone. Yeah, no. It's like a fuck. Ah, uh, shame, yo. Uh, I feel for that bugger, bro, because it's, it's the case of like, it's, oh fuck! I hope he he, he does something. Like he's a smart bugger. He might he might later in life realize he did a fuck up, right? But the thing is, um, he he will like eventually he'll realize. But like, I just I hope he does realize. But at the same time, like I'm saying, so like why I I believe that like. Um, or why I trust in Marco's opinion of Domenico and Massimo and their decisions is he's seen it previously with his other brother Domenico, right? So when he sees Massimo making these stupid mistakes, he's like, "Bruh, but I've seen this before. It looks familiar. I can see the path you're going on." And that's why he didn't, doesn't like Sky, didn't like them getting engaged, didn't like moving in with her, didn't like moving out, didn't like certain jobs that he took. Cause he's like, "Brother, bruh." I want more and better okay. for you out of life, right? Like we all want better from our brothers, but sometimes they do fucked up, stupid things, right? Oh yes, yeah. Right. Uh, so that's why I also I see Massimo, and the also thing for me is like I've seen Massimo also grow up and be young together, right? I've seen him grow up, and I'm like, yo, this manja had so much a potential from him being a a small small child, and now he's had the opportunity. I saw him finish a high school. I saw him finish a university. Now I see him move in with a girlfriend with no. Um, future and I'm like, ah, oh, yo, Jace, ish, ish, you know? Deep. I think I remember seeing Masi like the last time I saw him. I think I met him with you. I think I dropped you off at his place or something. That was when I saw him. Yeah, no, I think we went to to gym together or something. Mm-hmm. I think it's the last time I saw him. And that's Did also something. I'm like, Manja is not changing. He physically diet hasn't changed. Nothing. I'm like. Man just stagnated and I'm not trying to be rude but I don't need people who have stagnated in life to be around me as a constant because it's dangerous like yeah I stagnate by myself when I don't have access to you Masi and Sam for a couple months I fall into because I know I'm susceptible to being lazy too and if it can happen for a couple of months and I imagine playing video games every day with Masi I see him come online every day I'm like man you don't have a job you're not studying anything Well, I mean, you have a job, right? But like, it's not yeah, a crazy job. Even me, I can talk from experience of this one. Like, it seems to me like that manja is even in depression, bruv. Because the thing about it is, like, 
for that for was like six months. All I used to do was wake up, smoke a weed, and then play WoW. Well. And at the time, it was like the most important thing, like being the best at this fucking video game. That means nothing. It means nothing. Like, what is it going to achieve? Is it going to buy me financial freedom? Is it is it going to provide me security? It means nothing. It means absolutely nothing. Like, and I made it my everything. Um, that's that's a hundred percent. Yeah, no, I agree with you because I did the exact same thing with Destiny, right? So we've all got that shit inside us, right? We all have the potential to be dumb asses, right? But it's a I matter of like realizing and like, yo, and that. But like, that's the thing. It's like even if you don't, like, I, I still, I still have to hold you accountable, whether or not you have problems or justified reasons. The hard thing is, I still have to hold you accountable and not be your friend. Because I can't be dragged down with you. Like you, you, you there, you there. I've got the floaty, bro. We're in the ocean. But now you drag. You're holding onto my leg, and you and you're punching me in the head. I'm like, bro, just stand still. I got you. But you get what I'm saying? Yeah, it's, it's, it's the same. It's like, like bro, yeah. I don't know if you've done lifeguard like, training or swimming training and stuff. And they say if someone's drowning and they're being frantic, you let them go and you let them drown. You know that is the no, rule, no, right? No. Yeah, it's interesting how that sort of relates to your life in general as well. Because it's quite right. Like you got to be super careful, bro. And it's the same like in a plane when you put when the when the plane's crashing and you land in the ocean, you put your own mask on first. Because the frantic kid will kill you, bro. By trying to put their mask on, then you die. Then they also die. You have to yeah, save yourself yeah. first. Yeah, that's the thing. And the heart, like exactly like I'm saying, you have to save yourself first. If I can't save myself, I'm sorry, Masi, I can't save you. And your brother's there, and I know you've got a support system. Marco's there, he'll give you a job. He can give you more money than that job is paying you, and a better job. You can play video games for a living, bruh. With your brother. Bruh, is that not the dream? Play video games for a living with your brother. Oh. Seems to be like doing it all the time anyway. So like Exactly, so why not just, just get paid for it, bruh? Yeah. Same man. I mean, I can respect like maybe he wanted to go tell us something out on his own and just be independent from it and that. But then you fucked up, so yeah. so so eat the bullet and and yeah, go back like and say I fucked up. That's also is a taking accountability, saying I fucked up, right? And I know yeah. we're using Massimo as an example or like an, as an allegory for both of us and how we've taken accountability. We were both in depression at different points of time, playing too much video games, and then. Uh, got to kick up our ass right at certain points and I know we're not only talking about him we are reflecting like being self-reflective here but like I dude the other guy spoke to Adam and I was like you know because during that time um, when I did I fucking cut everybody out like, yeah I think the one I really spoke to was you um, and I'm grateful even for you because I think had I not had those difficult conversations with you uh, it Gave me the wake up call, bro, that I needed. I was like, this is fucked. Dude, that's why, that's why <laughs> even I was telling you, I think it was the last time we spoke, even now in this conversation, I was like, bro, we don't need someone to be an enabler and whatever. I don't need to say, yeah, it's, yeah, no, it's fine, it's fine, it's all right, you went through some rough shit. No, you've finished now with the rough shit. Now it's a matter of like, how we're going to move forward? Because the rough shit is there. It's they're always in your mind. You're always going to have to deal with it now. The question is how we're moving forward and like having the, like you're saying, the rough conversation, deciding whether or not we are or aren't not going to deal with these things. Yeah. That's the thing, it's like, it takes some introspection. So like, when one realizes that that's been an, an era in your life, right? And it's a, pro, it's a progression, you know, like one has to take a step by step. It's like um, a rehabilitation of your mind. But in that, it's also about appreciating some of the things that you have let sort of wither. So like, you know, one of the things was like, bro, Adam used to reach out, like send me voice notes and I just was like, oh, I just don't even, you know, how, how yeah. would I even talk to this man, Jake? And I feel like he's a stranger, you know? Um, yeah. Feels like I haven't, uh, you know, Bro, I won't lie. Even I, I have that same thing with you and uh, even Yao and uh, Simiksha and stuff. When you don't speak to someone, even I have it sometimes with my supervisor, I'm like, ah, oh, I haven't talked to this man in a while and it's, uh, I fucked up. I'm behind now. I owe these guys something. Sometimes it's you, you, you just have to fucking rip the bandit off and be like, I admit I was being a shit, but like, listen, I'm committed to moving it forward. Let's chat and pick up from here now. Let's see what's going on. But if you don't, like you're saying, take the shot, bruh. You miss 100% of the shots you don't take. You don't know if that man just going to be nice to you even if you don't just say how's it. 
it's like I think even in certain things, right? So like there are certain people which, if you've established, are not conducive to enabling, you know, a symbiotic relationship. Then fundamentally, it doesn't necessarily mean to leave things in disrepair, but like, you know, leave you just drift apart, yeah. As time goes on, yeah, yeah. So like even those managers, like I think back to like how I handled that stuff with Slade and those oaks and like I literally just cut them out, I ghosted it dead, like I remember he would call and I would just ignore and um, I don't know, I think it's a time I just uh, try and make reparations, not because I want to engage with them in the same way I used to, but just so I know for myself and not even for him, I want to be like, listen manager, meow was not good because I I chose not to explain myself, and I feel that I owe it to you to explain why I did what I did. Yeah, and I'm not. You can make up. But um, I wish you no shit things. You must have a good lever, and you know, we had good times. I have lost it. But this wasn't good for me, and um, I think I speak for both of us when I can say it's not good for you too. So. Ah, no, don't even talk about the other people. Just say your side, bro. Don't tell them about their side or make assumptions. Just be like, yo, this is what happened with me. This is what I feel. Um, these are the things that are going on in my life and what I need. Um, and at the time, it was not, yeah. like that, that like, I'm happy to share what's going on in my life. Um, no, but that's what I'm saying. You, you share what you want, you want to share. You don't share what you want to share with him. And like, like I'm saying, you say to him, yeah, but like, don't say, okay, I don't, like, what I'm saying is don't speak for him. Don't say, I speak for, for you and me when I say it was bad. Be like, nah, I speak for myself. It was bad in the situation. How you feel about it is moot because my feelings are valid and... It's a question with the manager, but uh, I feel like I do need to um, chat with them even as for a couple minutes and just say, like, essentially, yeah, what I did wasn't great. Just ghosting everybody, so... But it was appropriate for you in the moment. It was necessary for you to heal and get to where you are in life now. So, hard facts is it's. it's yeah, I, did, I did the same thing to Adam when I, when I spoke to him. I was like, look, like, it wasn't great of me to do it in this way, but this is what I needed to do for myself at the time. Like, I was close to, like, dying from malnutrition. So, like, you know, I'm sorry, but fuck your feelings. Like, I'm, you know, yeah. you're hurt by it. Like, sorry for that, but, like, I was taking care of myself first, actually, so that's what it was. 100%. Um, is sort of, uh, um, the same way when um, we spoke on Friday, you let me know what was going on and why you had to distance yourself from yeah, everything. Like, it wasn't even but, like, like a choice, it just like fucking happened, but like the like I'm saying, like you said, is like it happened and it was necessary, it was like a necessary evil thing, it just needed to happen. Because it was life and it sucked, but like it's over now. It's over. Or, or not it's not it's not even over now, right? It's still happening, but it's to the point where I've recovered enough mental capacity to be able to deal with it and even have a constructive conversation as opposed to be like, oh, I'm sad today, I don't know why. Yeah, I'm glad you have called out that question hole. It's not a nice one, bro. It's yeah. a fucking shit. <laughs> Yeah, well, I mean, fuck, it's crazy, yeah, I'm just glad actually that you're right, because eh? like, 